Kevin Lane from uh, Whitechapel here in Denver, Colorado on the Doomsayer tour. Uh, how's it going, man? Fucking great. Yeah? Nice. The tour's going really well. So. Is it? Yeah. It's been going really good. Been doing really good in merch and everything. And the dudes on the tour are really fucking sick. Nice. nice. Badass bands, dude. So definitely an honor to be on tour with these dudes. That you have you toured with any of these bands previous to this tour? No. no, we've been friends with the Mirror for a long time. Like, I wasn't even in the band whenever the band first met them. But the Whitechapel actually played their first show with the Mirror in Nashville, Tennessee, and gotcha. that's when they got to know them. And then they've been friends with them ever since. We played spot shows with them since then. And uh, the Fall like and Dark Sour just bands that I've listened to for years. So getting to go on tour with them, I was just like. <laughs> it was fucking sick. So, you know, especially like getting to watch John from Cephalic on drums every night just fucking <laughs> makes me want to quit pretty much. So, but it's, it's tight. I love watching him every night. He's been really, really nice. He's been giving me a lot of tips and stuff like that, you know, warm up tips and all that shit. Right. So, he's been really nice. And all the guys have been really helpful, both the bands, to like just kind of get us, you know, up on our feet as far as like professionalism and everything like that. Right. So, it's been sick. taking a little bit of a learning experience from this tour sounds like that's pretty much what this is like i mean it's been it's really fun we've been partying with the guys and stuff you know we've been having fun but mainly our biggest goal in this tour was you know these bands are obviously more well known than us they're bigger than us they've been doing it for years we need to look up to them as things to do you know things to learn how to do on stage what to do and all that shit, you know, just right. getting the fuck out of the way, you know, when you, when you need to get the fuck out of the way and all that stuff. So that's basically what we've been trying to do on this tour, just learn a whole lot and just take in everything that we can, so. Well, they're definitely... Welcome to So, um, you have a new album that just got released. Yeah, the Smack the Bomb. It was put out uh, July 31st right. of 07. And it's alright, I guess, you know? It's alright. Yeah, you yeah. mean on a personal level? On a personal level, playing? you know, you know, uh, like, the album, like, they had an old drummer that had written most of the songs with it, and it was like, three songs were written with me, and I didn't really get to do everything I wanted to do on it. Right. So, but it was still fun, you know, I, I tried to add on as much as possible. You know, the old drummer was a great drummer, he was solid, and uh, I just tried to kind of add on what I could to it and everything, but this new album I think is going to be, I think it'll show a lot more of what we had to offer. So. That's right, you guys have a new album I guess you guys are working on right now that's supposed to be coming out pretty, pretty soon? Yeah, it's going to be a few months, whatever. Yeah, we're going to the studio March 12th uh, okay. with, with Johnny Fay, ex nice. guitar player from Record, and uh, going to be in the studio with him for like three weeks. And then uh, it's gonna it's gonna be released on Metal Blade, and it's gonna be put out probably at the end of summer or something like that. So it should be should be good. We have, we're gonna be playing a new song tonight, and then we're gonna be uh, there's a new like there's videos of the new song up and stuff. And we're gonna try and put out like a pre-production demo of it up like sometime in March, hopefully, to, like kids hear it and stuff. And, I'm gonna taste the new shit. See if they like it. <laughs> hopefully, they like it. So. Oh, I'm sure they will. I you know I.
you know, it grew, and then the metal blade, you know, and and now here you are. I mean, you know, heck of a tour. Yeah, it definitely all came out at once. Like it was, we went on tour in June, like of last year, and with high hopes and stuff, but we didn't expect anything close to what happened. Like we, because like we went on tour in June, we were like, hopefully, you know, after about a year or so of touring, we'll get some label offers and stuff. Right. We got like by the second tour, we had like fucking like like eight label offers wow. and but like before any of that ever happened we were like metal blade that's never gonna happen you know we were like we never that was like i was like we're, we're right. i mean metal blade that's prestigious we're never gonna be able to get on that yeah. and then we just yeah that happened we like crapped our pants it was amazing yeah so. we want to thank metal blade very much uh by the way we'll just put that in there really quick thanks to metal blade the, you know heck of a pick getting these guys out here so the rest of us can enjoy you know what these guys have to offer um, so really quick, what did you do before this, before Whitechapel? Um, before this, I was actually in school for a little bit. Were you? Okay. Yeah, I, I played in a local band that was from my hometown in uh, Kingsport, Tennessee. I'm from Kingsport, not Knoxville. <laughs> not Knoxville. I was in Kingsport. But, uh, <laughs> there you go. It's like a little tiny town that <laughs> nobody ever talks about. So, but uh, I was in a local band in Kingsport called Speak of the End. It was more like uh, metal chorus type stuff with right. some blast beat stuff and stuff. Um, I enjoyed playing it and everything. They, all the dudes were really cool guys and stuff. But like <clears throat> at the time, I kind of had a, a girl nagging my ass a whole uh, lot. Okay. So and plus, I was really concerned about school and everything. So I actually quit playing drums and sold my drums and everything for like was like five or six months. And then like and Alex, the guitar player, one of the guitar players from Whitechapel, had like been asking me like every month since I'd quit playing and speak at the end if I would try out for them and I was like no nah. so I turned it down for a long time and then finally I was just like I'll give it a shot so I went down there and the weekend that I went down there they made me their new drummer so nice. and then shit just started taking off it was pretty cool and here you are yep <laughs> pretty tight pretty tight all right well Kevin thank you very much thank from the you. tour van of Whitechapel we're gonna wrap it up now you guys check out more on Kevin on our website sickdrummer.com and uh, look for the new release coming soon yeah shout out right now to SickJumper.com. Thank you very much for being here.